today I've been working in the yard all day. I didn't get a new light, but I did want to do a video on Droop, so that's what we're going to do. Droop is a governor mode, and the governor is the control valve. I grew up in a nuclear power plant, a steam power plant. I like to use steam because everybody can relate to steam. You can put your hand over a pot and feel the energy and feel that heat. So we're trying to transfer that heat energy of steam. You're trying to get the outcome to be electrical energy in between the steam drum, whatever's housing this, this energy and the electrical output, there's going to be a governor. Well, the, there's not going to be a governor. There's going to be a throttle valve. And that throttle valve allows more or less steam to enter into the electrical making apparatus based on the needs of that system. And the need, what determines the needs of the system is the governor. The governor can be in a manual mode or an automatic mode. Manual being every increment needs to be adjusted manually by the operator or an automatic mode meaning the governor through some scheme or some algorithm anymore it will regulate itself so the 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 modes the automatic modes you're going to have isochronous which is going for 60 hertz and then you're going to have droop which is going for uh, basically trying to hit it's trying to hit a point on a line so that's what droop is, is hitting a point on a line. If you're in a car, you're driving down the road, maybe you want to drive right down the middle of that lane. Every second, right down the middle. And if you get off just a little bit, you're going to correct and come back on. And if you come this way a little bit, you're going to correct and come back on. That would be isochronous. Isochronous is just trying to go for 60 hertz, driving right down the middle of the lane. And any deviation from the middle, you're going to adjust back toward the middle. Or you could drive your car, maybe you're listening to a podcast, got some Led Zeppelin on, whatever's going on with you, you might ease on over to one side. Well, you're not trying to be in the middle, but you're not trying to be outside of your lane either. So you might see that you're kind of getting that way and you'll maybe make a little bit of a correction. If you're a little bit on the right, you'll just hang out on the right side and then maybe the road tilts, you start easing back over to the left, you cross the middle, you come back over to the other side and you say, well, I don't want to go over, you make a slight correction. And so that's going to be droop where you're trying to maintain a lane, right? And that, that lane that you're maintaining is going to be based off of the output and the droop setting the unit output, I should say. So a 100 megawatt generator um, in the droop setting, typically four or 5%. 5% is pretty standard. 4%, I think that's going to be into some combined cycles and stuff like that. So that's what droop is. Getting into it a little bit more. Um, I think I do have some schematics, but yeah. So the valve, you're going to have a steam drum, you're going to have a pipe coming out, and then you're going to have a throttle valve that moves up and down, and attached to that throttle valve is the governor, which is going to move it up and down. Thinking about the throttle valve here for a second, when that machine is completely off, that valve is going to be fully shut, allowing no steam out of the, you know, the apparatus that's containing the steam and into the turbine to make it spin. When you light that unit off, it's going to start off allowing some amount of steam in there slowly over a period of time. As you get up to full speed, which is going to be generally it's 3600 and it's 3600 RPM because I guess I'll just say this just for the sake of inculcation, which is just learning. You hear something over and over again, it's better to hear it. So this is kind of a little off the rails. But the reason it's 3600 is because your frequency, which you're going for, is going to equal the speed times the speed of the shaft times the number of poles divided by 120. So we're going for 60 hertz, so we know frequency is going to be. So 60 is going to equal the speed of the shaft times the number of the poles divided by 120. So typically, we're going to have, uh, you know, a two pole generator and then 120 and then two and then to fill that to get the end correct it's going to be 3600 so 3600 times two divided by 120 is going to equal 60 so typically the the generator is going to be operating at 3600 rpm so you're going to get it up you're just going to go from zero you're at 1800 you might let it rest at 1800 for a while then you're going to come back up you're going to eventually get all the way to 3600 rpm and that throttle valve is going to be a little bit open 
just a little bit open. And that's going to be your no load set point. So your you don't have any load on that generator, but it is up and it is running. To get from that point, your no load set point, to full open, max output, that's what your droop setting is going to be in between. It's in between this no load set point and max output. And when you say 5%, it's 5% of rated frequency or the, the, the frequency you're supposed to be operating at. In the United States, that's 60 hertz. Therefore, between that no load set point, which you could say no, you know, zero, that's gonna, that, that no load set point, I guess I'm saying it over and over again. From this point on, I'm just gonna refer to this as the zero point and then the 100 point to cut down all the stuff I have to say. So to give from zero to 100%, it's going to travel that entire way based off of the 5% of the 60 hertz. So that setting is saying 5% of 60 is going to be complete open to complete shut. And no, it's not shut, it's the no load set point, but that's what I'm going to say. So to, from full open to full shut, it's going to hit that, it's going to be that 5% set point. And since it's 60 hertz, well, you can kind of do the math in your head. 10% is going to be 6 hertz and divide that in two, so 3 hertz. So in 3 hertz, we're going to go from that full, you know, from the empty to completely full in three hertz. And that's all the droop setting is. Now, if you had a 100 megawatt generator, you're going to know three hertz has 30 point ones in it. Point one, point one, point one, point one. And, you know, you do that 10 times and that's one. So if you do it 30 times, that's three. So to find how much response per point one hertz out of your governor, you would just divide the, you would divide by 30 in a 5% droop scenario. The other percent is 4%. On a 4% scenario, now you're going to go from that nothing to completely full. Now it's 4% of 60 and 4% of 60 is 2.4 and there's 24.1 increments and 2.4 divide if it's a 500 megawatt generator divide 500 by 24 that's how much that governor is going to consider each 0.1 hertz so now we know how to do the math for the 5% and the 4% we know that the droop is just an automatic mode of your governor that allows more or less steam into how this works when you're actually operating, which you wouldn't be operating, it would, some, some adverse condition would happen on the system and all of the governors would see that the frequency drops. They'll see that because the shaft RPM slows down. The governor is really just monitoring shaft RPM. Then the governor will speed up but it won't try to speed up all the way to 60. It'll try to see where you're at on this slope that you have, and it'll try to go to the value on that slope. So you're not going to, every generator isn't just all of a sudden trying to go to 60. There's, you know, when, when, when a frequency deviation occurs, there's a little bit of a dead band. So nothing happens that way. They're not all fighting each other. And then they all raise up a little. They just try to stay in their lane. They're not going to go off to the right or off to the left. They're just going to stay in their lane. They're going to hit their target value, which is a target value based off of the, where you're landing and your frequency and for that droop curve, which is the full open to full shut in three hertz. Mm -hmm.